Hello, my name is Mike Johnson and I'm taking you in a video inside and outside tour of this 2017 Forest River Forester Mercedes-Benz motorhome. It's a very nice motorhome. Basically almost brand new. Inside and out is very clean. full feature motorhome we're going to talk about it and we're going to go into detail if you want you can fast forward through some of this video but I'm going to get detailed and I'm going to explain about this motorhome and this stabilized camera will take you in and look close at it so as we go around the outside we're going to start in the back this coach has all LED lighting and it has stabilizing leveling stabilizer jacks these little jacks down underneath there these leveling stabilizer jacks are kind of rare to find on c-class motorhomes and then it has a towing package right here high capacity uh, trailer towing package with seven pin connector led tail lights led awning light power main awning and this one has a kind of an advanced technology package on it which I'm going to talk about it as we're going around the outside. It's got an outside television. But what really sets this apart is I have an app on my smartphone and I can turn on and off and operate the features, the major features of this motorhome from my smartphone. So check this out. Awning, retract, and from my smartphone I'm retracting the awning now this app works they have this app for Android or iOS I'm using it on iOS and we're winding up the power main awning here notice it's a full length awning it's power operated and I'm doing it from the app on my smartphone using it as a remote control a wireless very nice setup now the main awning has speakers built into the awning so this has a three zone sound system inside so two zones inside one zone outside and you can also control that via bluetooth from your smartphone and if you notice the led light strip in the main awning and it's got these ultra bright white light uh they're almost like alley lights on a police car you can control all the lights from the app i can turn off the awning light i can turn all lights off or individual lights off or on turn off all lights and all the lights are off but see this big bright white led light it's like an alley light it makes it super easy to back into a parking space at night and then it has one on the passenger side on the, it has for the entry and it has one on the driver's side for your hookup area but when you turn them both on it makes it super easy so when you're sitting in the driver's seat you go on your app you turn all the lights on on the outside and then you can back into the campsite super easy even if it's dark at night and bad weather so this is a mercedes-benz motorhome this really is a nice mercedes diesel it's got a clear bra over the front they call it um dura shield but it's a clear film over the front including on the cap so when you're driving down a gravel road and cars are throwing rocks at the front of your beautiful rv that plastic protects it against chips and so forth you've got a power entry step and you've got side view cameras these uh side view cameras are color and they activate with the turn signals so when you're driving or stopped and you turn on your turn signal your side view camera comes on and lets you see a side view something like this so you can see what's beside you on the left side with your i'm sorry on the right side with your right turn signal or the left side with your left turn signal and on the back here you have your rear view camera with night vision so you can see what's behind you makes it easy to back up 
roof access ladder, which is kind of rare on the C-Class Mercedes-Benz diesels. Large cargo areas. And we've got all the hookups here, the water, sewer, and electrical. Speaking of electrical, the outside electrical port is critter free. It's got a separate cord that you screw and lock in here. There's no path for critters to crawl into the motorhome. Same thing for the water. You keep the whole RV sealed up so critters can't crawl in through your water sewer or electrical connection. Everything comes in from the outside so when you go to the beautiful national park full of critters and they say, ooh, nice warm RV, they can't get in because you have direct connections. There's a lot of cargo storage on the left side here. I was able to carry several suitcases in here. I drove this from Idaho to uh, to, from Boise to Twin Falls to Salt Lake City, Utah. Then we went on down to Zion Canyon. Big cargo storage. Over to Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. And then back here down to California. You can fit two full-size suitcases in this cargo compartment here. Plus additional stuff. It has a nice generator on board. Cummins 3600 watt propane fueled generator. Propane is good because it doesn't uh, leave corrosion in the carburetor which can cause starting problems like gas ones. Very reliable. Propane generators have almost no problems. So this app that I mentioned on my phone, I can start the generator from the app. Let's start it. Push it for a second. It's checking, seeing if it's okay. And then it's gonna start in a second here. There you go. The generator starts up. It's nice and quiet. I'm getting the camera really close so you can hear it, but it's a very quiet generator. Doesn't make it make obnoxious noises in the campground. So much storage in this RV. And I mentioned your work area light. So let's turn the lights back on so I can show you going through my app here, devices, lighting. They call that the scare light. Turn it on here. Boy, that makes it easy to back into a campground. And I'm gonna turn off the generator to control the noise here. Do it again from my app. Devices, generator. Generator. Stop. And the generator goes off. You know, it's not like the old days where you had to pull a string. Like on the old lawnmowers. So, these are frameless windows. They give it a super clean look to the outside of the motorhome. And this is full body paint. This graphics is not stickers. This is full painted graphics. They do sell similar Mercedes motorhomes with fiberglass, but once the RV gets five years old or so, the sticker and fiberglass motorhome is gonna look quite dated, but the full body paint is always gonna look like this, especially if you keep it waxed. And because this is not too big, even if you wanna indoor store it, it's not gonna cost a fortune, this being a 24 foot uh, model motorhome. You can indoor store it and you don't have to break the bank. Uh, it's super convenient get in and go it's diesel it doesn't have the maintenance issues of larger rigs super nice now i like this app that i have here we're going to go back to it let's show you the slide out slides now you need to make sure everything is clear on the inside and as long as it is and i've checked already you can extend the slide out so if you're close to trees or something and you know everything's clear on the inside you can come out here and open the slide from the smartphone remote this opens up deep on this one and it's a full wall slide you notice that this is the full length of the rv body and look how deep it comes out 
some of these Mercedes motorhomes have two slides and each slide comes out about this far. Some have one slide that only comes out about this far, but this one comes all the way out. So inside, it opens up to a big cavernous, humongous uh, space inside. So you have a lot of living area. You won't feel so claustrophobic once you open the slide out. It's a big, as big inside as a class A motorhome in some cases. It's a lot of room for a little C-Class. And up over the slide, you have a slide topper awning. We're gonna, we're gonna go look at the roof at the, towards the end of the video, but this uses state-of-the-art uh, in-wall slide mechanism with these, these uh, replaceable gear drives. If you ever do screw up and break one of these, they just pop the pin and replace this gear drive system and you're back on the road again that's if you screw up and do something wrong but so far what i've seen they seem to last forever the companies that rent rvs tell me they really like this system they love it actually because it's a lot easier to solve problems when they rent their rvs and people screw them up but if this is your rv you just go in and out and you probably never screw it up it's very nice and if you do, it's easy to fix. And I mentioned we have the outside television. This RV has three HD TVs. Right now this one is auto-tuning for channels and we're showing 148 channels found. And there you go. We got over the air. This is not satellite. This is a free over the air broadcast. You could of course have satellite as well. But the TVs will tune cable channels. If you're at the campground, you can plug in a coax cable to the stand at the campground but if you're not at the campground like we're in the middle of a parking lot there's no wires connected this is over the air broadcast from the local channels and we're getting what 150 some channels uh, detected so it's channel 2 2.1 2.2 3.1 all the digital HD channels come in on your outside TV very nice comes with remote controls so there's three TVs three remotes or you can t it has controls on it you can close this off there's extra storage in here if you wanted to keep extra stuff in there so there's room to expand if you needed to so we're gonna go look inside the 2401 WS Forest River Forester uh, before I do, I'm going to mention this is solar ready. It has a power input. So if you have a solar, uh, if you buy the solar panels, you can plug them in right here. We can order those for you. But that would be an extra charge. If you need those, just let us know. Um, let's go take a look inside. So we're inside my office. We're going to take a look inside this Forest River Forester MBS. I have my app open up here. Come on, devices. We're gonna open the slide. Oh, and we're gonna turn the lights on. Lighting on, 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 on. We can also go to the home page and turn all lights on. Got our what they call it the scare light is on, the inside lights are on. We're going to go inside. We've verified we have enough clearance out here to open the slide and take a look. We have our table for the go between the front seats right here. But I'm coming inside to make sure we have proper clearance. Go to my home page, slides, and then we're going to go out. And then here goes the slide. It's moving out using my handheld remote. Make sure we have our clearances in the front, clearances in the back. Now, the, this is a queen bed, it's a comfortable bed, and it's a split mattress. So once the slide is open, 
you just take your little mattress and you give it a little shove and now your bed is ready ready to sleep that easy and it undoes that automatically when you put the slide in so I'm turning on my little reading light so if you wanted to go to sleep at your campground you got your reading lights right here LED reading lights tuck in the little mattress make it look a little cleaner here we are we're set up now we can turn the front seats around these front seats turn our swivel around there's a way to do it first you go forward then you release the lever front seat swivels around, locks in position and you can adjust it back. It has the same procedure for the other front seat. You just slide it forward, release the handle and it can go back against the steering wheel. Move the camera a little bit. Now you've got these booster seats these are for the front seats on this RV because if you sit here your legs will be like that it's much more comfortable to put down these little booster seats like so so that when you sit down you're very comfortable and if you want you can bring the chair more into the room so you have additional head clearance simple as that So you have a table that you can set up right here between your front seats. So when you're sitting here, you have additional dining area in addition to the booth dinette. You have a second booster seat that you set up just like that. Now you have comfortable seating for one two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven people can sit here and have breakfast inside this motorhome. Does not have seat belts for seven people, but you've got a lot of room in here. Look how roomy and spacious it is. Now, if you want privacy over the front seats, it comes with this front window shade blackout shade and this is a magnetic shade it folds up nice and goes in the little bag so you have these side window magnetic shades they have little magnets in them so you sit down and you bring the door in almost closed and then you magnetically clip these in to a position close the door and you have complete privacy from the side windows and yet you can still open the door and go outside we have one for each side door but that gives you 100 percent privacy and yet you still have all your space in here so for overhead this is your other window shade this is a nice storage bag to keep them in and then you have a front cushion when you want to sleep up above, you set this cushion into position and it includes a seatbelt harness that you can buckle up. So if you're going to put little ones or adults that might fall out, you can buckle people up into position and prevent them from falling out and getting hurt. You don't have to use this cargo net to keep your people up there, but it is available. It is included in the RV if you want it. This is factory installed. Might be able to even have somebody staying up there while you're driving because those are seat belts. You have a giant television up over the head. I guess it's a 32 inch, um, but it's big. You can watch TV at any time. You just It's on a swing arm mount. So you just loosen the nuts. 
So this stereo supports Bluetooth connectivity, so you can actually sync this with your phone. So when you're outside, you can control it from outside. It is a Jensen, and the Jensen has its app, a control app to control this with. You can connect USB charging, so if somebody's up here, they have a USB port handy. A DVD player built into it. And then, of course, AM, FM, stereo, Bluetooth sound system. So we're going to turn this off for now, even though I like that song. Go into the next function. This has a remote control for the front fan. So we can hit the remote and open and operate the fan from the remote control. It's got a really nice, fantastic fan with a factory installed weatherproof vent cover. This fan is pretty cool. You can set the temperature. Hit the power button, it automatically opens the cover. Turns the fan on. Or you can enable, you can enable it to come on after a certain temperature. And then uh, when you turn it off, it automatically closes all by itself. So this is a really quiet running, multi-speed, nice fan, whole RV ventilation. All you gotta do is crack open a window here or there, but you have a second one. So you have this second fantastic fan up here. This one's slightly different. It has a weatherproof fan cover over the top and then it's multi-speed. So you press it once for on, two for faster, three for even faster, four for maximum performance. And again, to go back down. And then there's off right there. So these will ventilate the whole RV. You got two of them. You don't even need to use the air conditioning. If you're in mild temperatures, you'll just have a nice breeze going through with fresh air. And then there's a third vent in the restroom, which is right here. And that has a wall switch. So you can hit the switch and open that. You have a full shower with aluminum enclosure here. Nice brand new state-of-the-art aerated shower head, which uses very little water to let you take a nice shower. And viewing myself, it's a large restroom. It's approximately seven feet deep by three feet wide. So you have enough room in here. You've got a sink. On under the sink, it has a whole RV water filter mounted under there. So your RV water is fully operational. We're not hooked up. We're running on a water pump right here. So you've got fully operational water system. And you've got a nice uh, porcelain toilet in the restroom. You've got a winterized switch that you only need if you need to winterize in the restroom. And over the shower, you have a skylight. So let's see how much room we have in this shower here. So I'm 5'11". I have a lot of head clearance here, maybe six inches. So someone over 6'6 six, six could fit in here without crouching down. And it's a roomy restroom with direct access. This one also includes a toilet rinse wand, which is kind of nice. It's like a um, help you clean out your toilet bowl if you needed to. And of course, you have direct access to the rest of the RV. I like the U dinette. This is great. You bring a couple kids, they can lounge over, with put their feet up and lounge away while you're cruising down the highway. It's a very nice setup. When they're sitting at the dinette, they have USB power points and you have an additional light switch right here. Four USB power points built into the RV to power your iPods and iPads and iPhones or Android phones if you prefer. There's additional USB ports under the bed down here. Under the bed on each side there's a two USB ports and two power ports so you can plug in your laptop or you can plug in your iPads and run a cable and charge those and there's a nice compartment down here where you can keep shoes and things like that let's go look at the other side 
As we work our way back to the back of the bed, we got a nice feature in the back. This RV has a safe back here. It's actually got an electronic keypad and the key. And you can open the safe as a gun safe so you can keep your gun in there. So you can even park in the bad neighborhoods and you'll still be able to be okay. But it has a quick access keypad built into the RV or a mechanical key that you can keep in there. As we look down underneath, you got your USB port right there and your 110 volt power. It's a full walk around queen bed with enough path to walk all the way around the bed which is really nice. Most of these little Mercedes or shorter C-Class motorhomes, they don't have any way to walk around the bed. They're stuffed in the corner. But with this full wall slide out, it's very deep. It really opens up the coach. Let's look in the closet here, see what's in there. Open the door. And it's a lighted closet, cedar lined closet. This wood in the back here, this is cedar. This is a chases away moth and things like that. It is an L-shaped cabinet. So as we, sorry, as we go around the corner, it's got an L-shape to it, so you can stuff, 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 stuff in the back, and uh, that's pretty nice. And you have addition to that. You have some drawers down here, very clean. This RV is like brand new inside and out. and it's lighted so as soon as I close the door the light comes off one thing I want to point out there are two clothes racks so you can stagger your wardrobe so you have two rows to hang clothes in here and this is the packaging because all the linen is brand new on the bed that's brand new linen as we look underneath the dinette we have big deep drawers that pull all the way out and you got two of them. Some of the similar looking RVs only have one. You have all your remotes, owner's books, and manuals are all stashed in here. These little blue cards, these are something you use on the refrigerator to hold the door open. They slip in here like this. So when your RV is in storage, you stick these little cards in there to hold the door so it stays propped open and ventilated so it doesn't build up an odor. That's what these are for. A lot of people don't know what these are for. And you got two of those included with the motorhome. As we're going through and showing you the various features, I like the blinds in this. This has slow rise roller shades. They're blackout curtains. So if you want to sleep in, you don't have to worry about the sun coming in. Then you just, they're slow rise. They give you little cubbies to store all your gadgets and iPads and gizmos, easy access. Cup holders in the dinette. And this dinette turns into a bed. You'd literally just release the tabletop and take the leg out and mount this under. And these two little cushions here turn it into a bed. And you got a nice place to curl up and, and rest away there. When you're sleeping in the overhead, you have these curtains which you can zip across. Or you have windows, of course, that you can look out, see what's going on outside if you hear a noise or something like that. Very nice layout. There's also a power point up here. And I mentioned, so there's 110 volt power up here. And then there's a USB port over there on this. So there's one USB port up on the overhead. And the weight rating on the overhead is 440 pounds, so two 220 pound people can possibly climb up there and rest. It's good weight rating, or you could use it for storage. You've got a nice cooktop here. Looks like a professional style cooktop. You got a light right here. Let's see if we have some fire here. lights big burners so you can cook fast with this 
three burner cooktop not two there's three and these are big burners so you can you heat up your food three times as fast maybe four times as fast because some of these have little teeny burners but this one has big burners turn those off before I cook my camera and you have a real gas fired oven under here now some of the RVs of this type put a little microwave down here but this is a real propane fired oven if you dry camp sometimes you can't run a generator and you can't plug in so this premium oven feature is really nice and if you don't use the oven you can throw some bottled water or something in there but uh, it's a very nice setup up over the oven you have your microwave convection oven this has a premium convection oven which means it gets hot like a toaster and cooks like a microwave or both so it has a faster cooking capability because it can get hot and cook like a microwave so cook your food really instantly very nice and it's a very good brand this is a stainless steel hot point stainless steel burner top everything is really nice in here stainless steel oven door stainless steel finished refrigerator this is a nice Dometic refrigerator very very good brand it's a lot of room in there as we're going up over this this is your master RV control I already showed you on the remote but you can turn everything from here so you got master light I can turn all the lights off from right there or I can turn all the lights on or individual lights at a time I go to my home and then I have awnings, generator, lighting, monitor panel, which includes electric water heater, gas water heater, the water pump, and the water tank uh, warming blankets. And my levels shows what the levels are. Oh, it thought I touched the screen there. So black, fresh, gray, and propane. So we can see what our levels are. And it has a USB charger here as well. Now this one stays here and then you connect your phone to it. The phone connectivity instructions are right here in the overhead. And we're going to include this $25 paper towel holder with the RV. I really like these. So we'll give you that for free. I've been making sure that we stay clean in here. Uh, but your various specifications for setting up the one control feature is right there inside the cabinet now let's say for example you were going to cook in here when i say crack open a window let's open this window here you just twist the knob and the window opens you got fresh air coming in then you come up over here and you turn on your vent fan over here or your vent fan over here and all your cooking gases are going to be exhausted to the outside and all the rest of the campground is going to want to come over for dinner or breakfast because they're going to smell all the yumminess that you're cooking you have a light right here as well you can use this little one which blows to the outside which if it's more of a greasy meal you can use this but uh, I would recommend having both on so the fresh air in and everything else exhausted out for cooking or baking or microwaving or convection baking all these features right here now we have a very nice sink in here stainless steel and we have a light right here under the counter we can turn on these are really cool you just hit the button LED light is on and this stows out of the way you've got the sink cover to keep it put away storage underneath drawers underneath it's a nice setup and this has a lot of outside storage too so we're gonna wrap it up in a second here we've got a lot of windows around the comfortable queen-size bed you have a bedroom TV all the TVs run on 12 volt power so you don't need the generator running and you don't need to be plugged in to watch either of the two TVs this runs on a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug running off the house battery so you can lay in here dry camping with your TV on and watching TV and it has a DVD player built into the side 
so you could pop a movie in here or HDMI input so you can connect a, an auxiliary player game station or something like that fire stick this one as well HDMI inputs and things right there so for the main TV this is a DVD player built into this Jensen unit so it can feed signal to the main TV you got cup holders in your overhead right there and little cubbies for storage of your stuff up there it's a very nice setup as a Pioneer stereo we're gonna talk about the driver's cab in a second we're gonna talk about the driver's cab in a minute but before I do I'm gonna point out this has little aisle lights one of the lights you can turn on is the little aisle lights that you can leave these on at night so you don't trip and fall it's got one over here by the drivers by the entry door the main door and it's got one outside I mean one in the bathroom so let's talk about the driver's cab so here we are sitting in the driver's cab and demonstrating the driver's cab but we're inside the building but I'm going to show you a couple features and I'm going to take you on a test drive with a similar motorhome that's outside I'm going to show you what it's like to drive it I need to film in here so when it's too dark it makes it hard to see what I'm filming these are nice this is a nice chassis it's got power windows power mirrors steering wheel controls not all the Mercedes give you steering wheel controls this one is the nicer uh, body with the steering wheel controls we're going to take this sucker out for a spin we're going to look underneath really quick you've got these uh, privacy shades you've got storage cubbies up above where you can stow your maps and whatever travel brochures and things you've got a microphone for your blue, uh, Bluetooth hands-free calling so when you're driving it's very quiet in the Mercedes it's not a loud diesel it's a front engine diesel but it's very quiet so when you set your cruise control at 80 miles an hour and a phone call comes in you just take it through the stereo and your microphone is right here so you don't have to be reaching for your phone there's a lot of extra cubbies up on the dashboard for additional map Kleenex boxes whatever you want to put up there you can put all your stuff or you can leave nothing up there and keep it spotless so we're going for a little test drive of this Mercedes uh, Benz motorhome we have excellent visibility from the front cab here the Mercedes has a very large front windshield easy to see mountains in front of you and trees and nice things that you want to look at like that but we still have some shade over us from the overhang from the front cab and then right now we have the backup camera displaying on the navigation screen there so if we go over bumps in the road we have the backup camera I'm going to turn on my left turn signal and then we have the left turn display right there I'm going to back it up on this little cul-de-sac here I'm going to do a three-point reverse turn make sure nobody's behind us I'm going to put it in reverse I'm going to watch my mirrors and the camera as I turn I've got my backup camera I've got my mirrors the advantage of the Mercedes like this there's as much room inside as some of the A-class motorhomes sleeping capacity for five or six people and yet you can fit it in these normal parking spaces one of the problems I have I drive about 8,000 miles a year on RV trips across the country shuttling and RVs around and so forth and the problem with these uh, RV trips is when we go to a nice place like Yellowstone Park want to go get out and look at some geysers or something like that there's no place to park a big motorhome but this one will fit in the same space as a dually pickup truck pretty much so you can still get it into a parking space when the larger motorhomes are stuck with nowhere to go a lot of these parks have RV only parking but then you'll find a little Volkswagen Beetle parked right in the middle of it so it's like well you can't fit your big RV because some genius parked their Volkswagen Beetle in the way 
We have excellent visibility out the mirrors. Left mirror, right mirror. Again, I've got my left turn signal. See that? Right turn signal. They activate the side view cameras. And then when they're not activated, I can have my backup camera display. Or the radio display. Just driving around. Piece of cake to drive. Let's go park it in a parking spot. We're going to do an acceleration test. Right now we're doing 15 and I'm going to hit the gas. This is a turbo diesel. There's quite a lot of pickup. Accelerating up to uh, 50. And then we're getting some traffic and that's the speed limit on the street. We're going to do an acceleration test. We're doing zero and I'm hitting the gas. It is a turbocharged diesel engine. So now we're doing 30, 40, 45, and 50. Decent acceleration. The nice thing about these turbo diesels, they have so much torque. When you're going up a mountain pass, going up 4,000 feet, 5,000 feet, 7,000 feet, or someplace like yeah, uh, Yosemite, which they have a pass at 9,000 foot elevation. You have a turbocharged engine, so the turbo compresses the air so it can still breathe at these high altitudes and has the torque to pull you right up these mountain passes. You don't have to pull over and let all the faster vehicles go by like the gas engines. Now it's still heavy, but it's got a lot of power to weight ratio, especially a torque to weight ratio is very good with this motorhome. Yet it still gets great gas mileage. Just cruising along, you're probably going to get 14 mpg. And if you flatline it at 80 miles an hour across country, up and down hills, it's going to go down to around 11. So uh, 11 to 14 mpg is what is reasonable to expect. The generator runs on propane, so that does not affect your gas mileage to run it. Do a parking space now. You know, these Mercedes are capable of a top speed of 80 miles per hour, and they're safe at that speed. I've driven these Mercedes at 80 miles an hour where it's legal on numerous occasions, including in Texas and other states. And here's some parking spaces over here. Let's back into a left-hand parking space. So I'm going to pick a parking space here. We're going to be up against the building. So rolling into the parking space. Straighten out, go forward once. Back it up into a single parking space. Now I can over go over the sidewalk a little bit as long as the sidewalk is not, not too high. Nice thing about the backup camera, I can see straight down. We're backed in. Let's see how we fit in here. Now you have to watch out when you're backing up if there's any poles or trees or bushes. But look. We fit in a single parking space. Let's go look at the back, see how we did. We're over the sidewalk a little bit. Pedestrians and stuff like that uh, may have a problem, but if you park far enough away from the entrance, you're not gonna impact someone in a wheelchair or something like that. They'll be in the handicapped spaces. We got plenty of ground clearance under here. So you got enough ground clearance, even if the curb were twice that height, you'd be okay. And we could actually go back further, except there's some bushes behind us. If we had picked a different space like this one, we could have gone even closer to the building without risking any damage. You do have to be careful, but 
you can fit it in a single parking space and you can't do that with these big 34 foot a class or 45 foot a class you need a bus parking for those this one will go anywhere so as i'm wrapping up here we do have two keys these are mercedes switchblade keys so the key folds as a switchblade it folds out or puts away these are designed so that when you put the key if you have like 10 pounds of jingly things hanging on your key ring so you don't damage the ignition so when it's turned it can just hang down so it doesn't stress out the uh the lock cylinder like has been a problem for some of the manufacturers and this has a nice parking brake which i'm going to show you the parking brake handle so the parking brake you pull it up and then push down to release the parking brake you pull up push the button pull up and then release the parking brake it's very simple but that'll catch you for a loop if you don't know how to do it let's go to outside and take a look so as we're going through here we don't want to forget about talking about the air conditioning system and heater it has a very nice touch screen control here the fan is set for auto but you can turn it for high or low if it's set at low that whenever you turn something else on it'll always run auto it will only run when it's requested so there's videos about how to use these they're very simple to use as long as you understand it it's very easy to use a control so turn on the air conditioning control and then the ac will come on it's running on low right now ac works really good but it also has a heater setting so that's a furnace and then there's a heat pump setting which uses the air conditioner as a heat pump and then you can turn it off and so it's got those different modes it's really nice setup we were using this rv in 19 degree weather and it was nice and warm inside furnace worked really good no problems we didn't have any water freeze ups or anything like that so we've climbed up the roof to show you the roof up on top it looks like brand new it has a large skylight it has a very premium max air vent cover right here on the front this is a temperature sensing with its built-in cover max fan and then the rear fan has its own vent cover we have additional vent cover that we're going to put over the bathroom vent and no extra charge because i like those weatherproof vent covers they're very good This is your main awning. It's a very large awning. This is a larger awning than most Class A motorhomes get. This is your slide topper awning. Protects you from all sorts of debris falling onto the motorhome. And then you have your digital over-the-air antenna, which I was showing you earlier. Picks up your digital broadcast TV station. From the local... Uh, this, R this RV has the big roof air conditioning. You only need one, but it's got a high performance, a Dometic roof air conditioner system on it. Let's take a closer look at that skylight. You can open that from the inside and view the trees or the stars at night from the comfort of the inside of the motorhome. Uh, this is a very clean motorhome.